I didn't, I didn't read a lot, you know, like I, uh, I would read something, maybe two sentences down, and I would completely forget what I was, what I just read, I would go back and read it again, it just didn't make sense, it just didn't make sense, so, I ended up, when I was going through, like, I think was my grandma passed away, and I had so much questions about death, you know, because that was, like, the first death.
If we look at the table of contents, the table of contents says chapter one is body, soul, and spirit. Chapter two is consciousness, energy, and the power of thought. Chapter three is near-death experiences, out-of-body experiences, astral projection, and remote viewing. Part two, chapter four, death, the doorway home. This, yes, I remember this book is pretty much like... And from a spiritual and a soul sense, like telling you what, <coughs> basically how powerful you are, how complex it is, but how beautiful it is, if that makes sense. Oh, I have a card in here. I have a birthday card. I, I just, I guess I used it as a bookmark or something. Let's have a birthday card. What is it? Oh. Adventure of the Soul. This book was really good. This book was really good. Um, it, the thing is, like, these books aren't good unless you trust trust it. You know, otherwise, you're just going to be arguing with yourself while you're reading it. Okay, here is.
respect me. That's why I enjoy being part of the ASMR community. I am proud of it. Okay. Now this next book, I was made aware from one of my subscribers that this book can cause some ruckus to certain people. And it is a Jordan Peterson book. Now before we get into it, let me just say this. I read Jordan Peterson for his philosophy and it is just find a section that I marked because I know I did but yes this book has taught me as 
as if that domain is the only one that is relevant, then it contrasts you unfavorably with someone truly stellar within that domain. So pretty much they're saying, like, let's say I wanted to be a rapper, and then you immediately compare yourself to Lil Wayne or whoever you think is the biggest rapper, and you say, oh, I can't do anything like that, I can't never, no, 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 I can't, I'm not him, I'm not him. It can take that final step even further, using the unbridgeable gap between you and its target of comparison as evidence for the fundamental injustice of life. That way, your motivation to do anything at all can be most effectively undermined. Those who accept such an approach to self-evaluation certainly can be accused of making things too easy for themselves, but it's just as big a problem to make things too difficult. So, that was just a random, random part I found. But yeah, guys, that is my small but impressive, impressive to me, book collection. I have it in the wrong way, but I strongly suggest, besides this Jordan Peterson book, which is really good, James Van Praa, Adventures of the Soul.